Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Optimize, aka Joe, and I'm going to be talking today about Scuff Cinch and Elite Controllers and any other modded controllers that aren't commercial, and I'm going to be talking about the argument that, uh, you know, these things are unfair or that they're cheating, and I'm sort of going to try to refute anything that people can say, um, and that anything is mainly revolving around the center of one statement, and that is these controllers are cheating or they are unfair so we're gonna refute this here and we'll be on our way afterwards also though by the way before I start explaining um, I do have a Twitter guys uh, some of you may know this some of you may not but I have a Twitter if you have Twitter also feel free to follow me it's the same as my channel name that guy optimize and you'll be able to see updates on there and other things that I type out and all in all you'll be connected more with me other than you know just watching the YouTube feed so yeah uh, let's get on with the video though so let's let's bring out a scenario here where in a perfect world for these people that hate these things everyone has default controllers and everyone is equal with regards to equipment but everyone is not equal with regards to their mechanical skills with their hands. Um, so let's say these group of 20 year olds, about 10 of them, like to land every few off, every few days at uh, at a frap house or whatever you want to call it um, in college. Let's say this one dude is great at video games. There's always that one dude, guys. Come on. Let's say this one dude is great at video games, no matter which one he plays. Um, and each game that he plays he is always turning on everybody uh, turning on meeting just destroying somebody when they're shooting him from behind um, he just has a better reaction time and all this is because he can move his fingers really fast like as if yes freaking <laughs> as if he injects himself with caffeine every morning you know there's always that one dude that can do these things so, people that invented these controllers have invented them to square up with people like that. So, if you hate getting beaten by your friend because he can move his hands faster, buy a controller. It's meant to equal up the game so that everything is dependent on your brain and not your hands. It's designed not to cheat it's designed to make things equal and fair ir ironic enough with how people argue it and it's just it's just kind of stupid how people say oh well this this thing is cheating I'll never be able to beat to beat some some people if I don't have one of these things because they just move their hands faster than me that's all it comes down to if I get one of these things just to make my reaction time like a split second faster so I can move up in the ranks like 20 players, I'll do so. I'll do those types of things to make me better. And by the way, why do people always argue about controllers and not headsets and not awesome monitors that eliminate shadows and not all these other pieces of gaming equipment that enhance your gameplay? Why do they do this? They only argue the controller. If I have a good headset like an Astro A50 like I do, I can hear people better than if I were to just have uh, a dinky little plastic headset that I got with the Xbox. That's an advantage, right? Am I cheating because of that, by the way? You know, if I have a BenQ monitor, and by the way, if you don't know what a BenQ is, it's, it's a great brand for gaming uh, TVs. And basically the purpose of it is to eliminate the Blu-rays in, in, uh, in the output from the TV so that there's less shadows. So yeah, am I cheating because I can see the map better? It just, it just is so, so much nonsense that people only point at the controller. And also, it's not even cheating if I have a better headset or a better TV. Again. People play on crap TVs and do just as good as people that have awesome equipment. So it's not cheating, still. It's all based upon being equal with others so that you can play better than someone else. I understand that 
sometimes there's that unfortunate scenario where you're playing with a friend that bought one of these controllers to be better than someone else that they know. You know, I understand that scenario where you're getting beaten by them because of that, but you just gotta understand they're doing this for purposes of helping themselves with the game. You don't have to have a controller, by the way, to help you with reaction time. You can do awesome, awesome things that, you know, aren't the controller. You can uh, increase your sensitivity so you can churn faster. You can uh, change the way that you hold the controller, change your button layout. There is a multitude of things that can help you. So just because it's a controller doesn't mean it is instantly going to give you skill. And there is people out there that have scuffs that are, that are ass at every game that they play. And there's people that are just using default controllers with Bumper Jumper that are literally Jesus at, at every game that they play. So it's not a guaranteed win if you get one of these things. And it is for the purpose of making the game equal, not unfair. If you guys like this video and you agree with my statements, do whatever you can to connect with me in this video. Either leave a like or a comment. Also, I have a Twitter. If you just search up that guy optimized on Twitter, you can find me, follow me, and see any updates that I put out on my Twitter. You guys will be watching this video on either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday this week. Right now, I'm doing it on Tuesday. I made a tweet this morning saying that I'm going to be doing videos this weekend. So basically just helping you guys know what's going on better. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Have an awesome day. I think the next video, you know what, let's just leave it a mystery. The next video is a mystery, so I uh, hope you guys look forward to that mystery. <laughs> Again guys, have an awesome day.